for your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio. I'm CJ. After 13 years, the page has finally turned. After parting ways with longtime executive Bill Polian, the Indianapolis Colts have hired their new general manager in Ryan Gritson. Gritson, a Purdue graduate, played two years with the Detroit Lions and one year in the Canadian Football League, has spent the past decade as a scout with the St. Louis Rams and the Philadelphia Eagles, has a monumental task ahead of him. After the Colts finished the season with a dismal 2-14 record and locking up the number one draft pick, Gritson was ordered by the Colts owner Jim Ursay to decide the fate of the current coach Jim Caldwell by next week. But if I can read between the lines, it appears Caldwell's job will be safe at least for this year since Gritson said it doesn't make sense running off a guy for the sake of running off a guy. Along with that decision, Gritson also have to navigate the Colts' salary cap woes and to determine who he will select as the number one pick in the upcoming draft, and if as a quarterback, what to do with the current franchise quarterback Peyton Manning, who is still recovering from multiple neck surgeries and is due a $28 million bonus on March 8th. Decisions, decisions, decisions. For your quick news and notes, after being fired in South Beach as the Miami Dolphins head coach, it didn't take Tony Sperano long to find his next gig as he was hired by the New York Jets to be their offensive coordinator. Former National Football League Commissioner Paul Tagliabue will have an award named in his honor by the Fritz Pollard Alliance for excellence demonstrated by a league or team executive who demonstrates the integrity and leadership in career development opportunities for minority candidates and advocacy for diversity on the league and club level. A bankruptcy judge in Delaware on Wednesday approved a settlement between the Los Angeles Dodgers and Fox Sports that clears the way for the sale of the team. PGA Tour Commissioner Tim Fincham received a four-year contract extension, keeping him in charge of golf's biggest tour through 2016. The new staff of Penn State football program is starting to take shape as John Butler has left his position as special teams coach with the South Carolina Gamecocks to join the Nittley Lion football program. After Keith Tribble was forced to resign as athletic director of the University of Central Florida amid NCAA violations investigations, Todd Stansberry now would take the helm in that position as he leaves his position of executive associate athletic director at Oregon State since 2003. The San Antonio Spurs have waived former lottery pick Ike Diogu and signed forward Malcolm Thomas from the NBA's D-League on Wednesday in an attempt to beef up their thin front court. With Derrick Rose hampered by a turf toe, the Chicago Bulls have called up Mike James for the NBA's D-League. Track great Michael Johnson and his company Michael Johnson Performance Incorporated will work with the Williams Formula One team to help his crew speed up driver's pit stops. Canadian free skier Sarah Burke was listed in critical condition on yesterday after crashing during a training run on the Superpipe in Park City, Utah on Tuesday. And finally, in an ESPN poll for America's favorite active pro athlete, Tim Tebow, to no surprise, is number one with 3% of the votes, Kobe Bryant with 2%, Aaron Rodgers followed with 1.9%, Peyton Manning with 1.8% of the votes, and Tom Brady with 1.5% of the votes to round out the top five fave. This sports segment was sponsored by Naturally Relaxed Massage, where you can relax, release, and relieve naturally in the greater Houston area. For rates and more information, please email naturallyrelaxed at gmail.com. To have your company sponsor a sports segment, please email me at cjsports, that's C-E-E-J-A-Y, sports at gmail.com for more information. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and YouTube at CJ Sports, and make sure you download the brand new Rima Gospel Radio app on your Android phone so you can have Rima on the go. Tune in next time for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle a little spirituality in your sports. <laughs> I'm CJ. Be blessed and have a positive, productive, blessed day of what's left of it. And remember to keep your head down.